just received a Golden Globe nomination for her work on the enormously successful HBO series, The Sopranos. Please welcome the lovely Lorraine Bracco. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> wow. How are you? It's like Captain Kangaroo here. Hiya, kids. Uh, congratulations. You know, this Golden Globe nomination, this yeah. is exciting. And I've noticed something about the Golden Globes. This is the award show, and I'm not kidding about this, where they encourage all the participants to drink. They serve alcohol. Absolutely. So it's this really wild, loose show. I think that's why everybody in Hollywood wants to be nominated. It's a small party like, and you can drink. <laughs> like, yeah, like they can't, like they can't get booze anywhere else. Oh, come on. You've, I, I hope I get a Golden Globe. I'd love some alcohol. <laughs> well, I think the thing is, you know, it's, it's, they're all at like little round tables, mm -hmm. right? Right. And you have a little kind of rubber chicken. Yeah. But mo there's, a, there's an open bar. Most award shows, and people don't know this because they look, I guess, kind of fun to people at home who are watching on TV because right. they get to watch and then change channels. When you're there at an award show, uh, speaking about the Emmys, it's hell. Well, the Oscars. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> but one I, day I will. I do. I was nominated for an Oscar, and I've been nominated for Emmys, and I've been nominated for the Okay, Sand okay, okay. okay. I mean, I'm not, but I've been Cinderella's sister. What? I never got any. Well, oh, okay. Well, still, you get to, you know, invite I get to go and get drunk. <laughs> yeah. I get to go. <laughs> yeah, no, the Emmys, I've, people always say, what's the Emmys like? And I say, it's a high school assembly with better skin. That's pretty much, better. that's what it is. It's uh, just, you're pretty, sitting there and you're waiting. Prettier women. What? Prettier girls. Well, I look for the, what's inside, you know, the interior. <laughs> Max, anyway, <what> <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally uh, just making stuff up left and right. You know, actually, I met your, at the last Emmys, uh, our fifth defeat, I believe. Uh, oh, join the crowd. Don't you feel like Cinderella's sister? Uh, brother, please. Okay. <laughs> Macho He-Man brother. Okay. Um, I, uh, I met you, you introduced me to your daughter. I did, Margo. Yeah. Margo, the one who, like, is graduating now with honors and... What is that, kuma cum laude? What is that? The hell are you and talking told, about? Excuse me. And she told me, by the way. Sounds that, different when you talk about yeah, it. I know. I don't but she, know. she's a very smart. You she, talked about her. She's very, she's extremely intelligent. Excuse me. She also told me that you went to Harvard. Yeah, school of driving. <laughs> it's different. It's no, totally different. I'm I a great parallel parker. I'm an amazing. Not the at Harvard. Yes. You know, Margo is. I don't know who this kid. She's not like anybody I know in my family. So she just, she's, but, you're not like this. You were not an academic. You were more of a free spirit. Yes, and I brought them up to be free spirits, those kids, and they're coming home with all A's and, you know, really, it's <laughs> unbelievable. And on Go top to your of room, it, yeah. And on top of it, you can't do that to a kid who does very well in school. Right. It's difficult to punish them. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> when they did better than you did, it's, it's very, hard to... It's very hard. And on top of it, Margo's going out with a guy who's like in his third year medical school at Yale and who has like, he's so smart, he got a, a, a very special scholarship to um, study in the lab and the rest of his medical school scholarship paid for a real dummy, okay? <laughs> what kind of, now do you, can you talk to this guy, this lab nerd? Do you have much to say to him? I, you know... As soon as the stem cell growth thing comes up, I say, I have to go. <laughs> I can't, I don't know. He sounds like a charming young man. He is, he's lovely. Mm, he's Bronco, <laughs> stem cell growth is quite fascinating. <laughs> you know, we're like, yeah, what we do is, uh, oh, look, cheese. Mm. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, um, he's not really nerdy, that, but. <laughs> he's loving this interview right now. <laughs> He's watching right now, and he's working on his computer. Huh? <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, look. Pi to the last digit. Um, I should, why? I don't even know this kid. I'm sure he's a very nice guy. I wish them all the happiness in the world. Uh, look, so do I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should encourage drinking here, too, I believe. I want to ask you something. Uh, the Sopranos. We, have, we so, have people who want to drink in the audience. Oh, we, we, uh, yeah, I like an audience that's had a little, trust me. 
four drinks and they're like, he's not so unfunny, you know? <laughs> when they're sober that we have trouble. Uh, <laughs> Sopranos well, were offered... Well, Preparation H guy was funny. <laughs> yes, well, we aim high here at the show. <laughs> The, um, the Sopranos, so popular, this show, that you guys, when the Yankees won the World Series, you were offered your own float in the ticker tape parade. Mayor Giuliani called us up and said, come on down. <laughs> it's true. He's Bob Barker now. <laughs> so, so he offered you guys your own float, and, and you well, did we it. we got cars, not floats. We sat on the back of those, uh, like, convertible cars. And, right. And, um... I, of course, was behind Derek Jeter's big float, and everybody, when they finally looked at us, they were like, who the hell are you? you know? Oh, they know who you guys are. You know what's really but embarrassing? After Derek Jeter, they were wild. It was incredible. Yeah, well, they, they, off, they actually called her. Isn't this true, Jeff? They called and they offered us a late-night float, you know? Because I just, I think they were having trouble filling out the old float. And they offered us one, and I thought, if I, in the, if the Yankees won the World Series, and it's, uh, everyone's coming down in a float, and suddenly there's a float with me on it, we're in a tie, going, hiya, fellas! I would be beaten to death. <laughs> Why? I just think people would be like, well, because what am I doing there? Well, it's ridiculous. Know, I said that, too, but I'm a big Yankee fan, and I went to the games, and... But also, The Sopranos is all about New York, you know? This, our show celebrates Cleveland, you know? Cleveland? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's New York. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I I'm just starting to tell them to put up a different city every night, fake city in the background, so that we appeal to everyone all across the country. You think so, huh? I have been drinking, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, The Sopranos season premiere is on HBO on Sunday, March 4th. Everybody, people have been waiting nine months for I this. I know. Well, you know, that's... Can you tell me anything that happens? Anyone who gets whacked? Anything that cool that happens? Give me the old scoop. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. When that hits the paper tomorrow. <laughs> I, you know what? We're going to show two episodes um, that Sunday night. We're going to, there'll be two back to back. That's going to be great. So that's cool. People love this show. And also, uh, Riding in Cars with Boys yes. opens this fall. It's a movie you did. I, with Penny Marshall directing and Drew Barrymore. This will be good. Lorraine Bracco, we love it when you come by. Thanks for making time for us. Yes. Great yeah. to have you. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up, we'll be right back.